I have tried to make Korea one of the strongest nation in Asia from literal scratch. If you're also wondering how, without further ado, let's just dive into the video. Alright, here we are as Joseon or Korea. And as always, let's start with our budget here. We have a low taxation and I don't like that. I'm gonna put high taxation. This is gonna stay here for now. If you need more, you can always go for very high taxation because at the start of the game, we're gonna need a lot of money. For consumption taxes, just tax your people as much as you can. Next time. Services and liquor would be fine. And when it comes to technology as Korea, we're in a very bad position because we don't know anything, even academia, we don't have it. Start with stock exchange, this is very vital. And then we're gonna go for academia as I mentioned. I want to get central archives because we have a huge population and I want to text them but it's gonna take 12 years so I don't want to wait for that so I'm just gonna go for this one production method and then I will go for central archives this is a pretty good setup and for your government take as much as people as you can into your government because we want to change quite a lot of laws here for now I cannot change anything but with the time we will for construction sectors try to build two into your capital and one for both of these states, actually you can make it through here. And then exactly in the same states you're gonna have to build some iron mines. And lastly some tooling workshops. We are doing this because I want to switch my method into iron frame buildings. If you can improve relationship with huge powers like Great Britain or Russia, just immediately go for it no problem. And also with the 600 authority point that you have, I'm just gonna give out some state edicts. Especially promote social mobility. Since in this strategy we're gonna have a lot of civil war and revolution, I'm just gonna save the battalions who's located in my capital. Other than that, I'm just gonna dismantle all of them. So I'm just gonna confirm I created another army and that army will be my main army. For this guys, I'm just gonna dismantle all of them. Well, as you can see, we have our first civil war here and they have zero battalions. By the way, just in case, even if they have some battalions, you will always have Qing in your side. And they will always protect you so there is nothing to be worried about and just go for civil war anytime you have and there you go as you can see we get rid of the civil war and now we can actually get rid of the serfdom because serfdom is so dumb and you should immediately try to get rid of that you will have some legitimacy problems but you can easily fix that with like taking people into your government and in terms of money we're losing money i've taken some loans but that's actually not a huge deal here and now I'm gonna go for professional army even though I really don't care about the army because I have no plan to attack any country soon but I just want to cripple the power of the landowners so that they cannot revolt again even though they can revolt it's just it doesn't really matter because you're gonna smash them anytime when they revolt and always prioritize to take this place because you're part of Ming market it means that if something is expensive in Ming or Qing China I don't know whatever you call it you can produce that and make bunch of money for example in Logan camps I'm making so much money here because I'm producing hardwood and the only downside is tool is very expensive but I also fixing that problem with building some tooling workshops so everything is going crazy good with no problem right now i'm having the worst luck in my entire victoria 3 carrier i'm trying to pass this low and just because i wanted to pass this i've lost almost a million pound and still it didn't work okay i'm just gonna cancel this and i hate you game just because i needed a legitimacy i had to lower my taxation and that cost me everything so now we're gonna have to pay a lot of interest all right now we actually built a lot of things and also we increase our gdp to almost 9 million i know it doesn't seem too much for you but trust me it is because our country when it comes to technology and everything is just so bad but i heavily focus on logging camps and textile mills because that give me so much money and at the same time I have the silk plantations and cotton plantations so it's very cheap to produce them and it's so expensive when I sell them so it's a very good one again like as Korea you have many opportunities and I'm trying to take advantage of it however the money is a huge problem now as you can see just because I was losing too much money I had to stop all of my buildings you might be wondering why like taking a few loans is okay but if you pay too many interest it it will probably let you go bankrupt so you need to know your balance in order to continue the game so my balance should be to stop here so once my interest goes down to five thousand or something like that then i can reconstruct some stuff 
So for example, this is actually very vital. So let's actually see how much I lose when I start to construct things. As you can see, now I'm losing 13,000 per week, which is crazy high. So you should always keep that in mind. And also, I just wanted to mention that I never wanted to go and invade other countries, but I think I'm gonna do it for this time. So I'm just gonna go for this little guy here. I think I can take him down. So let's just start this war. Usually they had zero battalions, but thanks God they actually fixed that problem. Now they have battalions. This one only have one. So once I land here and conquer this provinces, everything is going to be so easy for me. And there you go. This was our first imperial conquest as Korea. It's very weird to see Korean name over here, but you should get used to this. So let's just position both of our army over here because... I do want to take control over the whole Arabian Peninsula, so I'm just going to stay here for a while. And here is our second peace deal in Arabian Peninsula. And this was actually one of the hardest ones because they had 17 battalions while I only have 11. But just because they had irregular infantry and I had line infantry, I actually smashed them as you can see from the casualties. So as Korea, if you want to conquer Arabian Peninsula, it will be so easy for you. And as you can see now. We're almost there. And now we're also in Brunei Island. I conquered Solo because that was the easiest target, but whichever is easiest for you, just go for them. Now we're gonna try to take rest of the island. Now, since I've settled down here, by the way, I really have to release some nations here. You might be wondering why would I ever do that? Well, the reason is easy. When they revolt, there's no way I can stop them. One of my videos, I tried that and it just didn't happen. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to release a bunch of nations. And there are a lot of advantages of it. First of all, well, they are my subjects. So they're going to pay me some money. And at the same time, whatever they produce here, they will join my market. Which means that, as you probably noticed, I will never ever build anything here. Because I cannot even build stuff in my own country. But just because as a default, you have 10 constructed sectors, they will build some stuff for themselves. And that would be always beneficial for me. But for Brunei Island, I actually want to keep my stuff here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to attack there right away but i just wait for this central archives actually because this is a very huge important technology here so amount of taxation we're losing is 32,000. no it's 27,000. just because we get the technology and also once you get the technology it's just not over yet so let's just go to development here and also let's just go for this one and just check the bureaucracy points that we have it's almost 300 bureaucracy points that we got right now. Just one click. Simple one click gives me 300. And yeah, that is actually pretty damn good. I'm not gonna lie to you. And also there's a revolution. Again, I, I like revolutions. Ching will probably deal with that. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually gonna have to attack these nations because I want these provinces too. So let's just start our diplomatic play here. And another civil war has been finished. It was so goddamn easy. I had no problem. It's just some devastation, but you can fix that easily. So no problem with that. It's just I have too many loans, but now we get rid of that because our country size actually growed. Let's immediately check if they actually change the method. Yes, I hate this AI. Like, they change the method that I use and it's just so annoying. And there you go. In Brunei Island, we're actually pretty damn strong now. So, there's only one or two countries alive. So, I'm just gonna kill them all. And we will have very easy time here. Just look at this. Our little vessels here. This one specifically, Kasumi. They bring 18 battalions into our war. That's that's the reason I'm like, if you have an option, just release them as your vessels. As to where you will not regret. Why no one wants to have religious school? That's actually so dumb, but it's okay. It is what it is. Now, since there's no war or civil war or something like that, and also I have no infamy, I actually want to attack this nation here and take control over the things that I wanted to have. And let's just go for a return state. All of them, I want them returned to me. And at the same time, I want a few province from them. For example, this one, I mainly gonna aim for the provinces that I can occupy, otherwise, you cannot occupy and you cannot do anything, so it's just a waste of time. These were the only one that I could occupy. I might go for the war operation too, actually. Yeah, let's just try to get war operation too. I'm just gonna go for this and I'm just going to call China into the wall and I'm just gonna promise them La Hay, which is my smallest vessel over here. So I got no problem. 
Yeah, let's see. Let's just crush the Netherlands in Indonesia. Oh my god, Netherlands actually backed down. I knew they couldn't fight against China. Like, that's why I wanted to use my advantage here. I don't know what the hell happened here, actually, but we're getting a lot of Chinese population to these provinces. So, Chinese people decided to move here north korea because they have more opportunity i don't know i actually have no idea but anyways i think i'm gonna finish the video here so let me tell you how it feels like playing as chusan or korea i don't know so first of all our gdp is 15 million i don't think this is very good like you could probably achieve way better than this number but still i've tried my best and i think this is also still good like number 13 is also pretty good our literacy is 43% it's almost like 50% I think this is very great because once we were controlling Korea it was like 10 or something like this now it's almost 50% so we're doing pretty damn good when it comes to literacy our standard of living it's not that good not that bad so no problem our population is almost 20 million which is also very good radicals and loyalists I don't care well, the main issue that I had, by the way, this is my second run. Like, my first run was actually better. That's why I told you, like, my GDP could be better. But anyways, so the main issue that I face in this run is that normally I have, like, three civil war in my first run and i was easily able to switch from traditionalism but in this run i could never ever switch to other economic system or also i wanted to have like free trade and also per capita taxation which is very vital if you're playing as korea or like any of these things it's just i couldn't like even religious school it was even hard to pass religious school so when it comes to politics it was a very unlucky game for me but it is what it is no problem still we're in arabian peninsula here and also we are almost fully controlled of brunei island and this is actually a very good position so if we could wait a little bit more we could be very very strong because once you get your independence which i don't think it will be hard because you'll get some support from russia great britain or france i don't know any country so you will have a very easy time because most of the money that we are having is going to either to interest or diplomatic packs like literally the amount of money that we're losing is forty thousand for these two stupid thing it is very unlucky but as i mentioned it was a fun campaign for me if you want me to continue you know what to do just subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed to my channel yet and like the video if you want to see another content or another country just mention in the comments because i try to read all of them until the next video take care